Hello, my loves. Right then. Uh, we've got another Christmassy set today. These are velvet red. These are stunning. This is the daughter of the lady whose nails I did last time with the red and snowflakes. They came in on the same day and spent the afternoon with me, and I love them. So I have applied the Glitter Planet Easy Tip Stiletto. Um, done all my cuticle prep, dehydrated, primed, applied a clear layer. I've just cut the tips down and shaped them. And then I'm applying Valentino's 160, which is like cherry pop, I think it's called. It's beautiful. So there's, I told you there's a hell of a lot of this colour being used. People are loving this colour, like, and I love using it. So again, I'm using the three bead method. I find it's really easy to get a really nice even coverage. And a quick tip for not completely trashing your monomer. Although there have been, like I still did did get a bit complacent and rush, especially when you've got a long day you do. But um, when you've used the color and you go and put your brush in your monomer, just don't slam your brush down and burp it. Just, just put the tip of the brush, oh Milo, put the tip of the brush in the monomer, pull the brush out and wipe it until it wipes clean. And then you know you're not gonna overly contaminate your monomer sorry right so i've picked up a bead of nude here this is toasted rose i can see tinges of that pink because it came off my brush <gasps> naughty mrs b so this is toasted rose from nail mate it, it is a stunning uh nude and we can just build the whole nail with this so i'll build my structure up with it Do, do, do. All right, Milo. My dog's in here now. And I place a cuticle bead on. And I will tuck it in. Tuck it in nice and gently. And then just feather it down. Again, go back in. Tuck it in with the tip of my brush. And use the middle of my brush to feather it down the nail. Beautiful. Now I'm just checking my structure. Making sure I'm happy with it. Adding a little bit more because obviously I'm not going to do anything else to this nail. It's going to stay as is. This is sped up, by the way, a little bit, because otherwise it's quite a simple set, this part of it. It's nothing, you know, hugely technical, but there's a lot of nice crystals that go on at the end, so I just wanted to speed through this bit a bit for you. Okay, onto the next nail. And we are doing, if you can see stains on her fingers, she's training to be a hairdresser, so bless her heart. She gets very stained. So again, placing the bead on and just painting with it. It's so freaking pigmented. And I'll do the same with the second bead. Place it on, tuck in that edge, blend it down into the first bead. And then the same with the cuticle bead. Very gentle. I know it looks like I'm rushing, obviously it's sped up, but I'm very, very gentle with my brush movements. You don't, you just need to tease this product. It's a liquid, it wants to flow. So you just tease it where you want it to go. I just had a hiccup. Okay, so we do the same on the index finger and we'll skip to the thumb because the thumb's a little bit different. So we're gonna lay down a very thin, like, base layer of this red just in one bead just very thin and then we're going in with this beautiful glitter from I've had it from the glitter fairy for years I think it's called like ruby 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 slippers or, or is that what it reminds me of anyway it's a holographic red multi-cut so it might even just be called that holographic red multi-cut it's the perfect Christmas red glitter and I love it and it's a beautiful multi-cut it's not too chunky it's like my go-to Christmas one and the, I have the green as well and it's my those two are just super popular this time of year really beautiful and having that red behind it really did make it pop definitely again you're still super thin with that glitter make sure it's all sitting nice and flat just look at it it's so sexual right so we're gonna cap Wetting the nail down. I'm trying to give you a slightly different angle. 
and applying a nice bead of clear acrylic, I'm going to tuck it in at the cuticle with the very tip of my brush and then walk that bead down the nail. And because my nail is already wet, I don't run the risk of getting frosting or anything like that because when you work with a dark colour and then you go back in cap, if there's anything on that nail or it's super, super dry, it can just leave horrible marks and it's very frustrating when you've worked hard to get your nails nice. So it's worth taking the time, just like a second, just to moisten that nail. Moisten, what a funny word. Just check in super super thin that nail is i'm using my t size 12 bestie brush keep forgetting to tell you guys every time i have a student come in the first thing they want to try is my bestie brush and i'm like ah, okay and you know what they've all looked after it like it was their own baby and then they've gone and bought one <laughs> they're like you were right so it's not a very good angle i apologize but this was the end of a very long day and I had gone past checking the camera angle. I was just working now, just wanted my tea. I hadn't eaten all day. So I've capped and filed off camera and then just wiped over, I've buffed and then wiped over with a tiny bit of acetone. And I'm going to do some crystal work. She showed me a picture. There was no watermark on it. So I don't know who it was from or anything, but it was just a rough guide. We didn't use the same exact crystal placement and crystal because we didn't have the same. But I'm using the white opal round flat backs. These are all from Angel Crystals, as always. So is my adhesive, my Valentino Dust Collector, my crystal pickup tool, it's all from Angel Crystals. And the Valentino acrylic is from Angel Crystals. They're all covered by my discount code, which is Sarah B5. As is Nailmate and Glitter Planet as well. Same discount code. So the crystal I've just laid down there is an AB raindrop, and this is the smaller size because there's two variations. And then I'm using AB round flat backs from the mix pack. These are the smaller two sizes. And then I'm gonna pop a couple of the AB round flat backs at the top here. And then we're gonna work with my nemesis in a minute, which I absolutely hate. And that is after I've applied these two little crystals, silver balls, those caviar ball things. I hate them. Do you know what I should have used is some gel. I have this amazing gel that was sent to me and I haven't had a chance to use it yet. It's called Wonder Woozy Gel and it's like multifunctional and that would have been perfect for this. But at the time I'd forgotten it was in my drawer and I'm so cross because it would have kept these in place perfectly because I had a right faff with them. Oh, they make me mad. I got there in the end. It was just a faff. And these nails did look really pretty. She's off for a work still at the weekend, so you just have to have good nails. Do you know what I mean? You have to. It's rude not to. What I found was I was getting them in place and then the glue was drying and then I'd pick it up, drop it, pick it up, drop it. Oh my God. I'm taking it, you guys know what I mean. Oh, do you know what I did today? I sneezed and I bit my cheek. That's the second time this week. Right, so here I'm, uh, I've applied a little AB round flat back just there. And then above that, I'm applying an AB diamond flat back. Oh, except that one fell off and went into my Valentino, which was very stupid of me because it's gone forever. I totally need to go crystal shopping. I, I, I use so many crystals. And every time I have students in, like I'm just like, yes, use my crystals, honey, come on. And then I forget to restock. Right, this is going to be all AB round flat backs and these are all available in the mixed pack. Just one mixed pack does this design easy. Like, as in, what I mean is, let me rephrase that. All the sizes I am using on this nail come from the mixed pack. You get plenty more. You get like, is it three or four hundred crystals in that? You get a lot. You get a lot for your money. Um, 
so I'm just literally putting them all on in like almost like a I suppose if you looked at it it would look like an M actually well you'll see what I mean so it will go down in size order down the nail and then around the cuticle in a, a cuff type style But yeah, what's nice is you can do designs like this and you only have to buy one bag of crystals. You don't have to go buy all different ones. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I've, I, I've had a bad night, <laughs> like so tired. So my brain is working a bit backwards. But I think you guys get what I mean. And then after that, once the glue has properly dried, we're going in with matte top coat. The only one that's gonna be gloss is the thumb. So these are all matte top coat. I'm using the Aero Puffing matte top coat. It's the only matte top coat I've got. Oh no, I have the Nail Kami one. I wasn't as keen on that. Um, so I tend to use this one. And then I get my little detailer brush and go in around all those crystals and it really just helps to keep them secure, but you must wait for that crystal adhesive to be dry. If it is not dry, then your top coat won't stick properly and your crystals won't stick properly. They'll, like, it's almost like it breaks down. Milo, stop it. It's going through bags. So we've got Christmas stuff. He's being nosy. Hmm. Does anyone else's dog do that? Go raid the shopping bags. There's nothing edible in there. He's just nosy. So again, I'm getting a nice big bead on my little detailer brush and just tucking it in around all those crystals. Look how they sparkle. Oh my God. Beautiful. And then we've got a shot of that lovely nail being top coated with Nail Mate Super Gloss. When that glitter comes through, it's just ba-bam. And that, that's it. We put some NAF Stuff cuticle oil on and that was that. I hope you've liked this quick little video. I will see you very soon. Tally bye.